Six Tips for Using Raw Therapy Raw Therapy is a free and open source raw image editor. But are you new to raw therapy? If so, I'm going to give you six tips for editing in raw therapy more effectively. Number one, use cropping blackout. By default, if you crop the image, you can still see the rest of the image, which can be distracting. Click on the black, gray, or white icons in the top toolbar to hide the cropped out part of your image and replace it with one of the three tones. Number two, use capture sharpening. I already made an in-depth video about this, but here's the quick version. If you're editing a raw file and you want very fine detail sharpening, go to the raw tab and turn on capture sharpening. It enhances fine detail better than most other sharpening algorithms. Just beware that like all other sharpening algorithms, it can also enhance noise. Number three, use local masks. Unlike some editors, such as Darktable, Raw Therapy does not have local masks for every possible module. Nonetheless, there are local masks for some edits, and you can get them in the Selective Editing tab. For example, here's how to brighten a catch light. Click on Add, then put the mask on the catch light. Then click Add Tool to Current Spot and select Shadows, Highlights, and Tone Equalizer. Finally, adjust the equalizer so that you only brighten the catch light. Number four, zoom to one-to-one -to, -one to see some effects. Some modules in raw therapy have a one-to-one -one beside them. That means you can only see the effects of the module at 100% zoom, which is done to make raw therapy faster on ancient computers. Thus, if you turn on sharpening and you want to see how the sharpening effect looks, click on the one-to-one -one icon at the bottom of the window. Number five, click the disk icon to export. For those who have never seen physical floppy disks, this might be confusing, but if you want to export your image, click on the disk icon in the bottom panel. Then you can select a variety of image formats. Note that there is no option here to resize your image though. If you want your image to be anything other than a full-sized image export, you first have to go to the Transform tab. To make it easy, select Long Edge and then choose the maximum length of the longest edge of your photo. Here, you can also turn on post resize sharpening so that your image still looks sharp when resized. Number six, use the before and after tool. The before and after tool can be activated by clicking on the two square icon. It will stay one step behind the current edit. If you want it to stay many steps behind, click on the lock icon. Tip number seven, use dark table. Just joking. Conclusion. I hope those tips help you editing with raw therapy, but if they didn't, consider becoming a sushi chef.